Well, Daytona 500 ratings just fell massively. Um, not only from last year, but both, uh, or yes, not, on, not only from last year, but uh, this is one of the worst uh, rated Daytona 500s in recent memory. So first of all, let's talk about the actual numbers. So uh, this year's Daytona 500 had a record low 2.8 TV rating with 4.83 million viewers. Now, just to give you a little comparison, um, last year's race had 4.4 uh, TV rating with 7.33 million viewers. Now, obviously there are reasons for this. This isn't just like all of a sudden a bunch of people are just going to stop watching NASCAR and we're going to see like 0.9 TV ratings for the rest of the year out or something. But, I don't know, there's, there's definitely some talking points you can make out of this. Now, first of all, there's the obvious uh, point, which is that the rain delay affected um, the ratings massively. Um, Six-hour rain delay where... You only had, I mean, we really only had about an hour's notice that the race was even going to happen on Sunday. I mean, I'll tell you, at 8.30 Eastern time or whatever, I had, I was pretty sure that the race was going to end up happening, like, Monday afternoon or something, if even that, because the weather didn't even look good for Monday. So I was pretty sure that it was going to be delayed at least till Monday and probably longer. But they managed to get a window in and finish it at, like, I think it was, like, 12 30 in the morning or something again that's eastern time but when you have stuff like that where you rain delay a race six hours and only have about 30 or 45 minutes of notice that the race is going to happen that day not going to bode well for tv ratings but um another big part of this was the fact that right before the red flag it came out for rain there was a pretty big pile up took out about I think it took, a, I think like 17 or 18 cars were involved and like 13 or 14 actually ended up having to um, retire from the race. Uh, the huge pileup on lap 14. Like when you have a huge, and not only was it a huge pileup, but it was right near the front. So it took out a lot of contenders for the race win. I mean, you had Eric Almirola, um, uh, Alex Bowman, I think Blaney was involved. Um, there were all types of different guys. Kurt Busch had gotten enough damage that he was going to, I mean, he was able to run around, um, I think he finished like seven laps down or something. So it wasn't any, it wasn't like he was going to be in contention for anything. Um, there's just tons of like cars that had a chance of winning the race that were caught up in a lap, uh, 14 crash. So, um, I mean, that's not going to help it at all. Um, when you have, um, a lot of like, leading contenders they get wrecked out on lap uh, 14 and another thing I kind of want to talk about just kind of a short little uh, point here uh, just Christopher Bell um, tried to try to hit people uh, on the bumper square or just back off a little uh, but enough with me griping so anyways there were there was a little bright spot here which was the ratings from before the lap 15 crash before the rain delay um, 8.48 million uh, TV viewers were watching the 500 before uh, the rain delay, which is actually 4% better than the 8.16 million that watched the race in, it says a comparable portion here, uh, you can see the tweet up on the screen, but basically just uh, similar points in the race, so um, it's not terrible, but I don't know. Then again, I think that, I think the 2019 race it had pretty bad ratings for, um, for a Daytona 500. So I don't know. Um, but next thing I want to talk about, um, the big thing was the rain delay. Now, how do you avoid this? Well, uh, there's been a, a couple of solutions thrown around. I've seen people say, well, why don't you just race on rain tires? Well, the problem is rain tires have a lot less grip and I don't know. It, it would be better, in my opinion, I mean, like, there's things like F1 or something, F1 IndyCar, I think sports cars have rain tires, but like, there's, there's things where you can run rain tires, but NASCAR is not built for that. Um, we have seen in the past where people will have tons of electrical issues, just even sitting under rain, like with the co covers over the cars and stuff, like a little bit of water will seep through and ruin everything. So if you tried to run an entire race in the rain with rain tires, which are which have less grip, and that that just doesn't sound 
great. But the more probable and I think rational solution was the um, thing that has been lead by, uh, lead, leading. Anyways, the thing that David Land has been leading, which is the noon start time thing, noon, 1 p.m., something like that. Now, I 100% agree with this. I think it was like... I think it was like four o'clock when the rain delay, when they had red flagged the race for rain, maybe a little before that. But in that time, you could at least get in halfway and you could probably get to about 10 or 20 to go um, if you started at noon. Like, and this is, this is the thing. Last year, there were tons of instances where NASCAR started a race at three that if they started at noon, they could have gotten it in but they got to 3.30 or something, and it was just pouring down rain all of a sudden. And, I mean, you think about the Texas race. They had rain delay it till Thursday from a Sunday race in Texas, which is, that that's just NASCAR's luck for you. But I think if you started routinely starting races closer to noon, you'd probably have a little better luck with the rain. Now, I get that there's a good argument against that with the, well, TV ratings. Well, I mean, we can see here... Uh, yeah, TV ratings. But um, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Uh, you guys can leave your opinion down in the comments. I'll probably have some discussion down there. Um, yes, yeah, so this is my first video in a while, which is another thing I want to address. I don't know if I'm going to be having any regular upload schedule thing like I've had before. It's probably just going to be some more occasional talk show, not talk show, what do I mean talk show, like talking about some events in NASCAR type stuff, so don't expect like an upload every day or an upload every two days or some schedule or something, I'm probably not going to be able to keep up with that, I just want to do some more stuff for fun, but if you did enjoy this video, uh, hit the like button, uh, hit subscribe, and um, uh, I guess turn notifications on so that you can see whenever I post next, uh, and that's about all from me. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye.